Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I thought I would use my little handbags book here and make a gift bag for Mother's Day. So I've chosen this one here. It's from the 1970s, a suede one. And it's got two like sections or pockets either side and then the main section. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward style. You can easily change this when I show you how I'm putting mine together. But I just liked that idea of having three sections really. So we're gonna go with that one, so let's get started. So I'm using this paper pad, it's from Simply Made Crafts. It's 250 GSM, so it's great for 3D projects. Um, it's called Summer Fun, and I'm using this one with the stripes. Stripes and florals, or polka dots and florals, always work well together, so I'm gonna go for that one. So you want two pieces of pattern paper. If it's directional, make sure it's facing the right way. And you're gonna score at seven and a half and 11 and a half. Then rotate and you're gonna score at four. But on one of them, you wanna score at six as well, all the way down. That's gonna be the back piece. Pop it back along the original side and score at nine and a half down to that score line that you just made, which will be at six inches. Okay, like so. This one here is the front. So you can see here, it doesn't have that six inch score line. It's just got the four inch, which is the base. But you will wanna add that six inch score line just to this half here. So if I fold in, you can see where I've got my little tab. So it's just this piece here. So on one, on one of them, that's where I've scored the six all the way through. On the other one, you just want to, if I bring it up this way here, if you go from the bottom at six, you're going to go past the first score line and then just meet the bottom of that score line there. Okay. Then you're going to want two pieces of two and three quarters by six. Along the two and three quarter side, you're going to score at half an inch and three quarters. These are the little flaps for the pockets. And then I've got two pieces of this pattern paper, which is for each pocket. And again, if it's directional, make sure it's the right way up. You're going to score at half an inch, one and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half. Rotate and then score at half an inch and then rotate it back again. And you also wanna score at one and eight down to seven inches. So one and eight down to seven inches. And that's just gonna be the folds to kind of expand the pockets. Okay, so that's everything with the scoreboard. Next, you wanna fold and burnish all of the pieces. Okay, so start with one of these. So you want the half inch tab on the right hand side and you're going to cut down. It's hard to on this paper actually, so apologies because this probably isn't the best for, you know, filming. And then I'm cutting down that one there and then you just want to remove that piece completely. And then just take a little wedge off of each end there like so okay then we need to do a little bit of scoring without the scoreboard so I'm just going to use my metal ruler and my stylus I'm going to flip this over so you can see where I'm working so you've got your score you've got your half inch tab you should have a score line that comes down to the six inch mark and you'll have a little rectangle here and this one because this is the back it's got this one here on your other piece you won't have this score line I just want to score from the bottom of this score line here across to the corners here. Just go over that one again, like so. Okay, so you want that fold to fold in like this. And you just want to fold the triangle score lines and you'll see it will all fold up and that's going to be how you'll make this a fold flat that's actually going to be the back so it's going to go like that you just want to make sure it's all kind of that shape you can see the top of the triangle piece goes in so this is all valley 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 everything else is a mountain fold you want to do that on both pieces 
You'll also want to take a wedge off of the sides here of the square. I've already done it on the other one. So if I bring this one in here, so you can see the only difference between the two is this one's got that score line just there, which is that six inch one, but nowhere else because this is going to be the front. We're going to attach these together. And can you see the six inch line goes all the way through there? To be honest, you can do the six inch across all of that side piece if you wanted to, because it is on that one there. Just run your glue all the way down that tab. And by the way, that, that six inch score line is just if you want it to fold flat. If you don't, then don't add it. And then line this all up. Focusing on this base score line, make sure that that lines up. You can always trim the rest. But some of you know what I'm going to say when I say that, because I say it in every video. <laughs> if I'm uh, making a bag or a gift box, I always say focus on the base. Okay, and then just flip that over and then I'm going to add my glue to the other tab and then fold that right over and you'll see the whole thing will line up. Now I can open that up, so you want the one that's got no score line here, that's the front and you can see my other score line there and we'll be sticking that down in a minute. So this is going to be the last one I stick down, so that's the front. So I'm going to stick down the back first. You could line this with some grey board if you want it to be stronger and you've got something much heavier going in there. Cover the base, stick that one down and I'm going to just pop a bit of glue on the end of that one there. And then I'm going to add glue all over here is going to go this will be a solid base once all that glue dries and then fold that over turn it back up and then just go in there with your ruler and you can spread all that glue out just make sure that's all secure and then you'll be able to push in if you push your finger above the triangle on each side that back score line will just pop in and you'll see the whole bag go flat like so Okay, so I'm pop that back out again. Now we can make the pocket. So I've already got one here already, and that's going to stick onto the front, like so. I think that looks very sweet. So you'll have three score lines one, two, three, one, two, three, and then just one at the bottom. So you want to make sure you've got it that way up. And you're just going to cut away the bottom three squares. And again, you then want to concertina fold these ones. So fold the, so fold this one in, and then back out, and then in again. So you've got your little concertina folds again. In, out, and then in. I'm just now going to pop a little bit of glue at the bottom of these ones here and then just fold this over. Just kind of wrap it around a bit because it's going over those three bits of card but just to get that in place. And then these are the three tabs now. So this one, this one and this one to stick it to the side of the bag like so. But I want to cut a bit of an oval shape into it. If I open this one up, you can see it from that side there once it's obviously stuck to the bag but I've just cut in like an oval shape there so I'm just going to flip it over and I've used card making magic A5 ovals but any oval shape even a circle and I'm just going to sit this you might want to do this before you put it together but you can do it this way as well and then I'm just going to draw around the inside there just making sure you get it point to point like so and then I'm just going to cut that piece out that's just now going to make it easier to get stuff in there then you're going to want to add a little bit more glue 
to the tops here. Make sure these are all folded like that. And then you're just going to sit this over the top. And just make sure they're flush with the top there. And they run right up on the sides. And you can just open that up and make sure that's all secure. And now you've got your four tabs. If I fold that one over. Okay. I'm going to pop the hook and loop on this now as well. So I'm just going to take one of each. I got these from Amazon quite a while ago. Um, I think there's a thousand, might even be more than that. I can't remember, but I'll have a look back and I'll link this one here. So these ones are 10 mil and I've got the 20 mil, I think. So I'm just going to pop this just in the middle there. And then I can secure that. It's easier to do all this before you stick it onto there. And then I've got this piece here, which is half an inch by the width of the pocket. Again, all optional. But I like using the mirrored card on gift bags because it looks like faux, like hardware. Like so. Okay. And then you'll see here I've got my handle. So this is using some of the scrap leftovers. This is 12 by, I think, three quarters, actually, this one. Oh, no, five eighths. You could do half if you want, three quarters, even one inch. I think, oh, I've done five eighths, so it fits through these D-rings. So these I got from Amazon, all different colours, and I'll, I'll link that below. And then I've got this piece here. So you're going to want two pieces of this 12 by five eighths if you're using these D-rings. You'll then want four pieces of three quarters of an inch by two and a half. And I'm just going to curve that, pop it through here, and then add some glue and just stick that together like so. And then I'm going to take the ends of this and just pop a little curve into it pop that through i'm wrapping over probably just over half an inch whatever you do at one end make sure you do it on the other and then make sure they're both the same because you want your handles to line up so now we've just got that little bit of detail there which looks quite nice and make sure you put a curve in that piece as well because it makes it easier to bend like this and then I'm just going to add some more glue on here. And I came in one and one eighth. I mean, one would be fine, but what, again, whatever you do on one, make sure you do on the other. And you're just sticking it on that half inch piece. Okay, and now we can attach them onto the front. So they will be flush with the bottom, or just about. You can see how the handle meets the top there. I'm going to use the Kalau on this just so it's nice and strong. And you just want to go around all four sides on both pieces and do that on the front and the back. Where you know wherever you stick the front, just make sure you then line up the back with the handles. So that's all stuck down it's adorable i absolutely love this it's so cute but i've realized if you're going to do the double pocket then you don't need that back score line that six inch score line so it depends you've kind of got two bags really in a way because you could just have it with the front pocket and then it would all fold flat or you can do the double and just don't do that score line so it's up to you it's not going to bother me you know it doesn't make any difference then because it's a mother's day one I've just cut mum using my chunky dies and I'm going to stick it along the top there. So I've used some of my foam, which is the double adhesive. In fact, I'll do the U first, get that in the middle and then I can stick the others either side. And there's the finished gift bag, my double pocket 
bag and you could also pop the sides out it turns into more of a bucket bag so if you don't do those score lines I just squeeze those out you get that effect I've done this many times on the channel so I'll link up any in fact you know what? I think I prefer that and it still looks nice with even those score lines this is what happens with me if you've been following me for a long time things just evolve and change and <laughs> you end up getting completely different styles that one I think is gorgeous so there you go it's up to you how you do this one there's quite a few ways to change it up and um yeah make it work for you it's a great size it's going to fit some really nice gifts in there and obviously you've got the pockets on the front they are more decorative but they do function as well so hope you've enjoyed this version let me just bring back in the original inspiration so you can see the sides fold in there they put a long obviously strap with that so it's more like this but i really like having it that way i think it's the stripes and the floral paper that have done it with that big pocket it looks like a bit of like a Reminds me of a Michael Kors shoulder bag. There's lots of them like that. So there you go. As always, I will link the product that I've used in the description box below. Check out the playlist popping up now with the rest of the other gift bag, handbags that I've made using this book. I've done quite a few now and I have over 150 gift bag tutorials on the channel as well. So there's heaps of inspiration. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.